Hello everyone and welcome to VCW Collaboration, the CPV where we crown new tag team champions. I am Kevin Wonderman and I'm here with Paul Play by Play. Hello folks, we're about to have a fantastic review for you. We have so many tag teams and we also have a special champion versus champion later on tonight. Yes, we do, and you know what? It's looking to be like one of the greatest shows in a long time. There's the card where all these teams are headed straight for the tag team gold. It looks like a pretty stacked card. We're not going to go through them because this thing probably won't be up here that long, but we have our first match anyway, the Anaconda and Boa versus the Trailer Park Corporation, your butt buddies. Uh, buddies. I will not even dignify that response. Also, you know, you kind of left out that Ancon and Boa, they are known as the, I believe they're known as the Constrictors. You know, they have very uh, snaky theme. Maybe they're very uh, slippery in the ring. I really don't know. I've never seen these guys perform. Have you, Paul? I haven't. They, they're pretty much going to debut tonight here on uh, Collaboration. And what a show to debut on. I mean, it's like you said, new tag team champions. Uh, we're having the Vulture up against the Goonie. It's going to be an amazing show. And here come our first tag teams. I, it is the Constrictors, I believe, yes? I or believe that's what, what they want to be called. I, I wonder where they're... Oh, wait, there's one of them. I think... I think I have to uh, check my notes really quick. Terry Terry was kind enough to leave me with notes. Uh, I believe that the one with the short spiky hair is Boa. Which I think means... You are right. Anaconda would be that one entering the ring right there. And, but they look a lot alike. They, they, they look nearly like twins. They, I, I, you know what, Paul? I'm gonna call it. These guys are going all the way, straight to the top. Yep, they very well could. And here comes the Trailer Park Corporation. Yes, that's uh, Levi Anders with the uh, beard, and of course, that's Chavi under the paper bag. Why does he wear a bag on his head? I don't, I don't get it. As, as, if I recall correctly, going through my knowledge of classic VCW, Jeff just pays him to wear the mask. I really can't explain it. And, some, and he, by some redneck magic, he keeps his stays on his head when uh, he's wrestling. That's... I, you know what, I've, I've seen Chavi for a while now, I saw him in the original VCW, I saw him in other promotions. That bag stays on his head no matter what, I'm, I'm not going to try and explain it. And Levi is a redneck, uh, lumberjack, but... <laughs> As Paul laughs his own joke, I believe that's Anaconda there with the backbreaker and with go behind on Levi, Levi reverses and just slams him down. Ooh. That, that can't feel nice. You know what, Paul? I'm, I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to call the winner right now. Trailer Park Corporation are going all the way. All the way? Yeah. All the I, way. I, I figured Straight to the out. top. New tag team Straight. champions. Yep. And Levi and has Anaconda. What Anaconda is he doing? Anaconda is in a particular in bad situation. And... Oh! Oh! oh man, that was a powerful Did move you there. see how far he threw him over his head? It has a powerful man. And, and, and Anaconda is not a small dude. No, I mean, Anaconda and Boa, both huge dudes. And look at that. See, Ooh. that proves it. Anaconda picking up Levi and just, just stomping on his chest now. This guy is everywhere. Oh, man, that, that, can't, that can't feel good. Uh, Paul, who, who is your pick to win this match? I gotta know. Uh, I would say the Trillin' Heart Corporation because I've seen them more, and I think they have a very good rapport. I've never seen the... Uh, the the anacondas or whatever they're called. Now uh, the thing was. you have a good point. You know, uh, Trail Park Corporation. They've they've spent some time together, especially here in VCW. They know how to team, which also could have been their um, undoing because you know the constructors may have been studying these guys as soon as they figured out who they were going to face. But who knows? You know, this really could go anyway. Uh, oh Anacond my god! Oh my god! Here we go! Holy sh! Boom! That looked like it hurt. Right on. Right. Right. Chave just got. Messed up by Anaconda. Anaconda? It's yes, a Russian leg sweep right there. And can we talk about that move he did to uh, Chavi there? He had him up 
use the momentum to drive him down across the knee to do even Ooh. more damage. It's it's insane. That that was impressive. These I don't know. I'm, I may be changing my mind. These, these Anaconda and Boa are very impressive. You know what? Guys. That's just like you, Paul. Changing your mind, flip flopping, can't make oh. a decision. Chavi okay. slamming down Anaconda. And here we go again for oh. Some kind of sweep there. Yeah, some kind of STO right there. And then again with the chest tops, Anaconda really focusing on the midsection of Chavi and Levi. Big now just punching him in the back the of the head. Oh, but Levi do do dodged that giant drop kick there. And Chavi tossing him into the corner. What could he be going for? Oh, pushes him up oh, top. Right in, right in front of his own partner. Holy. Uh oh. Here oh. comes the Kaniku Buster. Boom! Oh, oh my god. God, that, that has to be it. You know what? Chavi, just go for the pin. Now, now, now Paul, I have a question for you. I don't know if you've noticed this. Oh, and wait, what's oh, this? Looking for some sort of torture what? act maneuver. Oh. And, oh, my God. Oh! Oh, oh my. That was, I think they call it, I think Levi calls out the payoff. One, two, th no. No, that, that's two and, and a half. The Anaconda able to uh, kick out right there. I can't believe it. Oh, big clothesline there. Now, Paul, I have a question for you. As uh, sure. Anaconda goes for the pin right now, Chavi has a tattoo across his chest that says Mexican. Do you think yes. Chavi is actually a Mexican? Maybe. Do you think he's know. here he's legally? He, he is a hillbilly Mexican. Maybe. That's, he is a hillbilly Mexican redneck. And, and he's full of, he's, whatever he is, he's full of energy. Going against and the ropes, boom! Just Big. catching him with that almost spear-like maneuver. And bump into each other. Yeah, a little collision there. Oh wait, Chavi has him. Chavi has him. Chavi. Big. Oh. Ooh, big shot to the midsection there from Chavi to Anaconda. Yes. Anaconda and Anaconda is. Uh oh. He's Here going for this once again. Ooh. This payoff. Big over the top. Oof. And boom! Big payoff there. That, I think that might be it for the Constrictors. Boa, One, not really a factor two, in this match. Three, and there it is. Trailer Park Corporation advances in our tag team tournament. It's like I said, they're going all the way. All the way. All the way. And just an incredible matchup, though. I mean, I kind of wish I could have seen more of Boa, seen more how the Constrictors actually worked as a team. But goddamn, the Trailer Park Corporation look amazing in that match. Sure did. So sure, your butt buddy, the million dollar redneck, very happy. Listen, I respect him. I can respect a man who came from nothing and made a lot of cash for himself. You know, I don't know what your problem is with MDR, but nonetheless, he has brother cousins, he has sister cousins, girlfriend cousins. I don't even know. Nonetheless, the Trailer Park Corporation make it on to the next to the uh, semifinals in the tag team tournaments. Yes, you are correct. And I think our next match coming up is EW and Brandon. Zach, Zach Braden. Zach Braden and the Hogart Dynasty? I believe so. I think the card will come up very, very soon. There it is. Yeah, it's the Hogart Dynasty versus EW and Zach Braden. So EW and Zach Braden are just a new tag team here in BCW. They just kind of align themselves when they, uh, when... Yeah, they well, look, look, here comes the Hogar Dynasty, Logan Freeman and, uh, Connor Jameson. They, uh, on, I believe, the last episode of Livewire, or maybe, maybe it was Overdrive, I can't really, my, everything's kind of merging into Word. one. VCW, Word. an amazing, amazing show, nonetheless. But yes, EW was getting attacked, and Zach Braden made the save very, very almost uncharacteristically, based upon what we heard from him. You know, he sounded very arrogant, very uh, full of himself. But I, I really didn't expect him to make a save, let alone save EW. Well, like, like, like we were just talking about, uh, this man here, MDR, has a very his eye on him and actually offered him a part of the Trailer Park Corporation that he got turned down on the Facebook. Yes, yes, so EW was, uh, no, excuse me. MDR was looking at uh, Connor Jameson to join the Trailer Park Corporation, extend his uh, stable of just future champions in his eyes. 
here comes this blighter son of a bitch. EW. Yes, EW. The smoker EW making me. I, I, I don't know what this man has experience in. I don't know if he's ever had any... any Cocaine? Heroin? Any experience Speed? in tag team wrestling? Heavy drugs that make him insane? Do you see this guy? Do you see, do you see his hair? You know what, Paul? Well, I just have to ask you, you know, who's your who's your pick to go on to the next round? Because honestly, I think I have to go with Hogar Dines. I would, I would agree with you. I think that the newness of Zach Braden... Zach Braden? This is it Zach, Zachary Braden? It's Zach Braden. Yeah, Zach Braden and Smoker, I don't believe that they are close enough in the tag team to beat the tag team. The veteran tag team on the Hogar Dynasty. So this should be a fantastic game. You don't know. Zach Braden making his way to the ring. Oh, uh, now this Definitely is the first time I've off. seen him compete ever. I saw him compete on on Overdrive. He's fantastic. And he definitely has a show-off kind of personality. He definitely seems like quite the show off. I, I think this guy would believe that he is the definition of perfection. I would agree. In fact, yeah, I actually met with Zach Braden uh, backstage Ooh. as EW takes down Connor Jameson with that arm drag and standing moonsault. But yeah, as I was saying, Ooh. I met uh, Zach Braden uh, backstage and first thing he does is shake my hand and say, you know, I'm Zach Braden. <laughs> But the match is on, nonetheless. A uh, spinning wheel kick by EW to Connor James. Smoker is EW. just taking it to this guy. Holy moly. Yeah, EW, not the biggest guy in the VCW roster, but just taking down Connor Jameson, who has shown prospect here in in all of his matches. Yeah, Smoker is just all over this. Oh, my Lord. My God, he can't even get out of the gate. And, oh. Oh, just oh. taking a Logan. Logan and, and don't know what to make of this guy. He's just taking it to them. And Brent, oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I saw, I, I, you know, commentated Ooh. over an EW match on, I believe, the last episode of Livewire, and he was just insanity out of the gate. It's Logan taking out One. Zach as Connor goes for the easy pin. Connor Jameson gets totally destroyed by a Hurricane Rana there. One, and kicks out. That was an intense one. I don't even, I didn't even think he was capable of such a thing. Oh, he um, shrugs off that. That drop kick and nails him with a DDT. Paul, I gotta ask, you know, who's your pick in this match? Pick right now. One, come on, one, two, three, pick. Hogar Dynasty. All Still, right. I think that the Hogar Dynasty are going to go all the way. You know what? I think, you know, EW has been a fireball out of the gate. I think I might have to give it to EW and Zach Braden pulling the upset and going, going all the way to the finals and maybe even winning the gold. We don't know. I, I, I think the veteran team of the Hogar Dynasty are definitely going to get this one. Now, you, yeah. you again, you have a good point. You bring up the whole, like, they they have experience with one another. They, they've they worked together, I think, almost everywhere they've been. It's been Hogar Dynasty, Connor Jameson, Logan Freeman. But when you have two skilled athletes like Zach Braden going for this side headlock and Newt Down doing a handstand, showing off. That's a one hell of a hat show off. And... Man, but I, 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 my pick may not be it because EW and, and Zach here are taking it to the Hogar Dynasty. Quick tag. Yeah, and, and and back to my point, when you take two guys Ooh. who are already skilled, like look at that. I don't even know what to call that. That was a Hurricane Rana of some sort. Oh, and this, they're Zach going for some kind of tag him. team maneuver. I like it. You know, Ooh, big knee over the ropes, midsection. back over the ropes, and another one of those Hurricane Rana. Knee to the stomach Holy and smokes. that Hurricane Rana like maneuver. This has been insanity. Ooh, big kick to the back. But, but as I was saying, Paul, when you take two guys who are skilled on their own, you know, you just assume they would be amazing together, right? Yeah, yeah that's a good good assumption there. And Connor with that Ooh, big belly to back suplex. Big back suplex there from... And here comes Logan. Logan getting instantly thrown into the corner. Man, and here comes he Zach Braden. EW and Zach Brainer are just cutting this ring in half. Ooh, double attack there from Smoker and uh, Brandon there. And, and Zach Brainer. Oh. 
Oh, both both men are down. I think both people would rather attack the uh, partner Their of their opponents. opponents. Oh, DT from Logan there. And Logan just driving the elbow into the back of Zach Braden. And I like I, I like I like his pants, the yin yang thing going on. And over the top rope, but oh. hold on quickly. And ooh, big stunner. Still center, set to the outside. And oh, can ooh. we see a brawl on the outside? Uh, looks like EW. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh! Thought they're going into that barricade there for a sec. No, it doesn't. I mean, EW just brings everything back to the ring, back to where it should be. No need to go any more dangerous than they would have uh -oh. to. Oh wait, what's Logan going for? Logan doing something. Oh! Oh, oh my God! I. What was that? That was intense. That was a impactful move there. That One, was like a two, Death Valley driver or something. EW just breaks it up there. EW making the save. Ooh, Zach Brady getting that super, super kick. kick. Shaking the jaw of Logan oh, there. Hitting that German suplex on Logan. I don't even know what to say, folks. The, 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 e, EW and Brandon are just taking it to the Hogar dynasty. I'm telling you, these two kids are going to go all the way, man. And, uh oh here comes another one of those. Oh, over the top. Just tossing him away. Slam. EW pops back up, though, with a like a ball of energy and just hitting a sequence of moves. Ref, you check his pants for cocaine. I think he just took a hit. Ooh. Oh, EW hitting that uh, heel kick, I, hitting that calf kick, excuse me, I believe he calls that the uh, third degree. I could be wrong, though. One, two, and just kicks out. You know what? I was looking at the notes that Terry Lawler misprepared for me. You know, and EW Ooh. going for this hurt Corona again. Only just, gets one. Just got one. Yes, you're right there. Only gets one. But as I was saying, um, I was looking over the notes that Terry Lawler once again messed up for me. Ooh. And in fact, EW's calf kick is known as the fire rocket. Fire rocket. One, Logan two, and kicks out at two. And Logan. Trying to get back in this match, but Smoker has really got his number in this match. Ooh, going for that arm, trying to take away that. I don't even know, he should be going for his legs, really. And oh, stunned to the face on the top rope. Yeah, just throwing his. just landing his neck right on the top rope, and. Uh oh, here we go. It's like Logan's uh -oh. going for some kind of powerbomb. Last ride, boom! Oh my god! Sweet mother of God, that looked like it hurt. Now I, I really wasn't. Oh wait, he's going for the pin. Could this be it? One, One two, two, three. And that's it. Hogar Dynasty. You know what? Like I said, they advance and they're going all the way in this one. All the way. Going all the way. Just like that, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. As we watch the amazing replays from this uh, match, Logan picking up a victory for the Hogar Dynasty. Now, I, I wasn't able to get a clear view of that uh, powerbomb that Logan did to uh, EW, but it almost looked like the back of his head almost hit one of the ropes on the way down. I think we might want to send some paramedics or something to check on EW. But, uh, you can't say anything bad with EW and Brandon here. They did amazing in this match. And, but Hogar Dynasty just had that, had that it factor with the no, knowing of who, who their partner is. Yeah, yeah, um, but it's like you said, EW, Zach Braden, nothing to be disappointed in. What an amazing showing in this brand new, fresh tag team here at VCW. If they stay together, I'm sure we'll see more of them and definitely have tag team gold around their waist at some point here at VCW. Well, yeah, without a doubt. But Hogar Dynasty, you know, they make it on to the next round, making our first semi final match. Uh, I believe it's Hogar Dynasty versus the Trailer Park Corporation. And up next we have the Punks versus Ryan Ryan Murphy and Nick Rubino. Yes, uh, they are known as the Hooligans, so we're going to have some good old-fashioned Punks versus the Hooligans in this match. And here they come, my favorite superstar here in BCW, Amazing Punk, and his tag team partner, Mason Rooks. Mason Rooks. These two are just my pick to go all the way. These two are my favorite here in CCW. 
You know what, Paul? I'm gonna do the very, very, um, unpreferred thing, I guess, the very, um, not, not likely thing, and I'm gonna agree with you. I think, I think the punks might have this. They have proven to be one incredible tag team. Straight from okay? the start. You feeling okay? You're agreeing with me. You need less water? I, I mean, I would have said Terry for my for get me water or something, but it looks like I believe there's a Lawler family reunion, so I gave him the day off. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I do need a water because I can't believe I'm agreeing with you. Pugs going all the way without attacks. And their opponents coming out in a couple seconds. Another debuting tag team here at BCW, the Hooligans. Ryan yes. Murphy and. What's his, what's his, what's Nick Rubinow. Nick Rubinow, that's it. And here they come. Yes, the Ryan Murphy Hooligans. with the longer down hair, Nick with the shorter spiked hair. Both men with beards. Beard power. There they are, the name? Hooligans what, making their debut here at BCW. Beard. What's his name? Beard? Is his name Beard? Is this Beard? Patriot says yes. I, I think you're thinking of Carl James. That's it, Carl James. But, these oh, guys, these guys. Someone, someone has a dog. Someone has a dog in the arena. We need to get this dog out of here. Your dog's barking. Maybe, maybe that's part of the Hooligans gimmick. You know, I think, I think, I think these guys are very, very. Uh, very animalistic, very uh... And Ryan Murphy starts it off with an amazing punk. Boom! Yeah. First, that was a big neck breaker. Huge neck breaker by Ryan Murphy. An amazing punk just catching him and slamming him down. I don't think I want to be Ryan Murphy in this matchup. No, an amazing punk has definitely got a power advantage over Ryan Murphy here. Amazing Punk going with the going with the go behind, excuse me, and once again focusing on the knee. Ooh, big knee drop there. Now I mentioned scouting before, Paul, and I think if the hooligans were had any brains, had Ooh. any intelligence, they might they probably have been scouting the punks ever since the beginning. They might have been scouting all the known tag teams here in VCW. Right really even before sense. the CPV was announced. Ooh, big power slam from Amazing Punk there. Oh, Ryan Murphy, big jawbreaker. Taking Amazing Punk off his feet. And yeah, going ooh, again. Another jawbreaker, man. Wow. Taking it to him, trying to take Amazing Punk off his feet. Definitely a good strategy for Ryan Murphy here because Amazing Punk is definitely dangerous while he's standing toe to toe with Ryan Murphy. Oh yeah, without a doubt, Ryan Murphy playing it smart though, and just not letting Amazing Punk recover from any of these moves, this succession of just attacks, hitting the back, and then going with that side headlock, and again, using his head as a weapon. He may, he may lose some brain cells, but he may win some gold doing it. I mean, again, we know nothing about Ryan Murphy and, and Nick Rubino, the hooligans. This is their debut here in VCW, Ooh, and Amazing Punk with a headbutt. Amazing butt. Punk, now he's using his head. I wonder who, I wonder who all those jawbreakers and that headbutt might have hurt more in the end. Yeah, I don't know. Same with that flying headbutt. Who, who wins at a flying headbutt? The this fans. <laughs> and Ryan with that drop kick. Mason reversing, tossing Ryan over the ropes. And Mason trying to get that suplex over the top. Inside. What an incredible matchup right from the start. Ooh, yeah, this is a definitely competitive match. Going right, but uh, Mason Rooks there doing what he should be doing is taking oh, those knees oh. and legs out. Oh my god, he just tossed Ryan into the ropes, and I think Ryan's leg might have caught the ropes. Doesn't look like he's showing any damage. Oh, 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 big DDT from oh, Nick from Nick Rubino. Nick, Nick Rubino, <laughs> they switched so quickly, I didn't know who it was. Nick Rubino is now being taken apart. Oh, with those. Big knee drops. Yeah, amazing. Uh, amazing Punk really focusing on the knees of his opponents, tossing him into the corner. Mason catching him with that side kick. Well, well, these two especially need to take them out the knees so they can take away that ability to. Oh, what? The, whoa, that was a weird move. That was like was a hammerlock clothesline. It was very, very um, yeah, interesting move right there. And now going for the for the dreaded camel clutch, one of the most 
deadliest moves in all of professional wrestling. And you know what? Oh. I'm starting to sound like Paul because I just said most deadliest. Most deadliest. Yep. It's a Canadian. Yeah, I believe. Word. I believe that's a Paul. I, I, that's on your shirt. That's going to be coming out straight to the VCW store, isn't it? Exactly. The most deadliest move, man alive. Oh, Ooh, big double big. maneuver. That's, oh, and then they bumped into each other. Oops. It looks like there is a little um, confusion in the ring right now. Uh -oh. Ooh, I, I big believe Mason the is the legal man. And now Ryan Murphy is the legal man with Mason. And oh, he gets his own Russian mic sweep there. So Mason and Ryan, the legal man in this contest. Uh, Ryan with a series of strikes just laying Mason into Rooks. Mason. Mason Rooks. I said Mason Ryan. That's a big dude in WWE. No, I was, I was saying, I'm, you know what, we don't have time for this. Mason Ruse just laying into Ryan Murphy right now. Yes, sir. And Ryan Murphy is going to... Ooh! Oh. Jumps out of the way of that elbow drop. Quick. and But didn't drop out of that, of that drop kick. But he didn't get all of it. I think he just clipped him a little bit. Yeah, definitely um, stunning Ryan Murphy for a second there. Yeah. And where's Ryan Murphy going? Ooh. What in the world? Nice backflip there from Ryan Murphy. Dodges that clothesline and ooh, eats an elbow. That was impressive maneuver there. Yeah, Ryan Murphy showing his athleticism and now going for a series ooh. of strikes in the in the Shades chest area. Ooh, oh. big oh, kick to the face there. Oh my god. And oh, his partner. Oh, that was close, folks. That was almost three shades of Tajiri. Yeah, that Those that final kick after kicks. that. After that succession of kicks, was and very. Mason's uh, going right for those legs that just t kicked him in the face, and ooh, tries to go for the elbow, but uh, Ryan Murphy got out of the way. Ooh, big neck breaker to Murphy. You know what, Paul? I think I'm gonna have to change my answer. I think I think the Hooligans might have the Punk's number. I think the Hooligans might be going all the way in this tag team tournament. Ooh, my God, that th these these guys are just taking it to each other, real. Serious, they, these tag teams really do want that tag team gold. And Mason gets reversed. Ooh, and eats oh, and eats a uh, knee breaker there. And now uh, <laughs> Ryan Ryan's in the ring. No, Nick Nick's in the ring. Nick, Nick's in the ring. Sorry, Rubido. Rubido. Rubido's, Rubido's in, in the, the ring. ring. And Mason hitting that shining wizard, and now hitting that Ooh. running bulldog. And Mason going for the cover on. Rubido, but Rubido kicks out too. Rubido kicks out early, but Mason Ooh, big picking up. there, and uh oh, here I, we go with that. Go to sleep on on Rubido, knocking him senseless, maybe unconscious. I think I think this might be it. One, two, oh, but Ryan Murphy breaks it up right at the last second. I I can't believe that Ryan Murphy was able to kick out right Ooh, there. Oh, big impaler DDT from Rubido. Taking Mason Rooks almost completely unconscious. One, one. Oh, only gets out. to one. I think that was the kick out, less than, but not a breakup. Oh, Rubido kicks him in the stomach for those buzzsaw kicks. But the hooligans are now trying to uh, show that they do quite well, but gets Rubido caught with that him. big boot. Oh, oh, Mason with a flying clothesline now tagging in Mason Punk. Amazing Punk, the bruiser of the two, getting back in the ring. I think they're both bruisers, Paul. Well, Mason is a big dude. Isn't that isn't a very big dude compared to Amazing Punk? Oh, one. Amazing Punk going for the pin, only gets the one. Um, he's basically the Hulk. And oh, oh my, god. my god! Speaking of the Hulk, just just shooting Nick into the sky. And Mason. And I'm Mason Punk's going, oh, right for those knees again, trying to take that buzz, those buzz saws away from the hooligans. Yeah, not and only, not only trying to get rid of the their uh, kicking ability, but also just trying to get rid of the speed that the hooligans definitely have over the punks. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it looks like Amazing Punk's going for some kind of. I can't really get a good look at what that was. Modified. Him with clutch of some sorts. Yeah, it almost looked like he was pulling at the head with with just his Ooh, hands without draping the, the arms over the knees. It was very, very weird to hold that I really haven't seen before. 
Oh, and Nick, this is not where you want to be on the outside where stuff like this can happen. Amazing oh, Punk choke. just choking Nick. That's totally unnecessary, totally not needed in this contest. Oh, big back kick there. Same Amazing Punk on the outside. Yeah, and Nick looks like he's, he's going to head to the outside. I wonder what's going to happen here. Oh, he's Bulldog. Gonna, he's going to Bulldog Amazing Punk on the outside. That's what he's going to do. And looks like Ooh. Amazing Punk kicking him Amazing in the midsection Punk. as Mason tosses him back into the inside. Trying to do that choke again, but can't seem to grab him for some reason. Oh, hey, oh, Punk, what whoa. are you? Oh, whoa. Whoa, putting those steel steps down there, bud. Maybe that big back kick might have uh, shook Amazing Punk up a little bit more. Maybe he forgot that this is a standard match. And this is not no, de no disqualification. Ooh, oh, spinning heel big kick. spinning back kick there. One of us must be right, and one. Nick going for the pin. One only gets the one. And now Nick hitting him with that knee to the midsection. Trying to take that big guy down is a very hard task, but Amazing Punk is just get keeps because he can take a lot of punishment. Whoa! Oh. Holy, done on the power bomb, but it was actually a Hurricane Rana. Holy crap! Nick getting that Hurricane Rana out, and then Amazing Punk though, so with the advantage oh. and big oh. belly to back suplex. Belly to back suplex is right. That's a big. Amazing, uh, Amazing Punk is a big dude, so that's really, really high in the air. Yeah, and Amazing Punk went for the pin, didn't get any of it. I think he only got a one. But now, and, uh oh, oh, look at the power of Amazing Punk! And oh, shades of the British Bulldog there with that power slam. One, one, two, two. and oh, get kicks out Ryan Murphy breaking it up at two. Oh, and, uh, oh, oh! oh, oh, oh I, I wish I knew what they were going for. It looked like. It looked like uh, the hooligans might have been going for some kind of tag team maneuver. But Mason broke it up there. This is a fantastic match. These guys are going back and forth. Oh, oh. here it comes. Oh. And, ooh, Ruben What an amazing clothesline. Uh, excuse me, choke slam. An amazing choke slam from Massive Amazing Punk. Massive choke slam from Amazing Punk. And the thing is, this is it, folks. One, One two, two, and three. three. That's it. Just like Five. I predicted, the Punks make it to the next round. But, wow, what a competitive match. Uh, Ryan was trying to break it up there, but didn't, didn't make it in time. And uh, Rubido just ate a huge uh, Now you get me to say it. Huge choke, choke, choke slam. slam. I choke mean, slam from Amazing Punk. We said it in the last match, but it kind of works in this match too. Well, the Hooligans, nothing to be disappointed about. An incredible showing from this new team in BCW. I can really see them with the gold somewhere down the line. It's just not going to happen on this show. Yes, uh, the tag team division here is very good up for sure and there's tag team division on this show that we have to showcase like the like the matches of horror Mudotron and Steve Slasher who aren't on the show tonight but their partner is they drive the vulture we'll see a little bit later facing the Goonie but right now I think we have our last semi-final match it is go ahead say their names I call them the dicks. But. It will be the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society up against the team of Exodus and Nitro. So it's Exodus and Nitro versus the dicks. The dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society, and here comes the Exodus. The Exodus is a definite bruiser here in the BCW. He's very impressive in the ring, and he's a very aggressive human being. Yes. I, I, I tried to interview him the other day, and he just punched me in the face. And, well, I, I mean, asked him how he was. He I mean, can, me you me him? Face. Can, can, can you blame him? Can you blame him? I'm gonna bring my taser next to you. I'm gonna tase you every time you annoy me. You're gonna get a lot of taser. Don't think I agree with that. Um, Exodus, though, you know, it's it's kind of kind of interesting, Paul, because Ultimate Nitro, he is, I believe, the current hardcore VCW champion. He is. So, if if Exodus wanted, he could almost cost the team the match and then just pin Nitro and become the new hardcore champion. That's true, but also 
what if the Dix hit Nitro, does that hitter become the hardcore champion because of the 24-7 rule? I, I have no idea. I I mean, I guess we'll find out if if Ryan Carroll or Sean Walsh is able to pick up the victory in this match. Um, now, we've, we've mentioned teams teaming up before. We mentioned, like, how this team has more history, whatever, being a team. Now, Ryan Carroll, Sean Walsh, we've, we both know we've seen them other places. We know that they are a tag team. They're known for tag teams, for being a tag team, being tag team champions. They are definitely a very accoladed tag team on and uh, all of that, all over YouTube, everywhere basically. Yes, in, in many These two leagues, very um, well might go all the way. So are are you saying that Paul Play by Play is backing the dicks? I am not backing the dicks. The dicks can suck a dick for all I for all I care. So you're saying that the Exodus and Ultimate Nitro are going to win this match and make it onto the next round of the VCW Tag Team Tournament? Yes, because this man is extreme. This guy is brutal. I mean, I remember his debut against uh, Kevin Cross, where I think I think that was his debut. I remember his debut nonetheless, and I remember him getting disqualified for just being Nitro. But also, also, if there's anything to say about Nitro, he is unforgiving. He once beat up a man in the back for his, the hardcore title, who was our backstage interviewer. I, or Travis. Or I Travis still, still wish I knew why Travis wanted the hardcore championship to begin with. I don't know. And it looks like here comes the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society. Dicks. Ryan Carroll and Sean Walsh. Sean I believe Walsh Ryan Carroll is with tights. Uh, Sean Walsh is with the sunglasses. Yes, sir. These two are definitely impressive. I, I may not like their tactics. I may not like them as people, but they are definitely one hell of a tag team. You know what, Paul? I think. I think the dicks might uh, might have it in this match. I think the dicks might go all the way. Looks like everyone else is going to go all the way. Everyone's going all the way. I have no idea what you're talking about. And the match begins. Sean Ooh. Walsh uh, up against Exodus. Exodus just slamming Sean Walsh down right there. And fury of punches from the Exodus on, onto Sean Walsh. And Walsh Ooh. now. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going for a neck breaker, but clubs him across the chest. And Sean Walsh getting from behind, and... Ooh, wow! That's an impressive move there from Sean Walsh to the exit. Oh! Ooh, wow! Spinning backbreaker. Yeah, Walsh just laying into Exodus, not stopping at all. And... and taking in Carroll, who is Carol going to go this... for that big, oh. huge boot to the face! Wow! That looked like a Yeah, hurt. Walsh holding Exodus in place, and... Carol just going off the ropes and catching him with that big boot. Fury of Bud just I think it just pissed off the Exodus. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same there, thing. It looks like Exodus was kind of pissed off. And now the hardcore champion going for that ooh, big back suplex there on Ryan Carroll. And tags back in the Exodus. Quick They're, tags from the Exodus and Nitro there. Yeah, Exodus and Nitro playing um Playing smart, doing a very, very common um, tag team tactic, you know, playing, doing low damage and tagging the other person to keep each other fresh. But Exodus is uh, trying to get better of Ryan Carroll here, but Ryan Carroll's not having any of it. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. big clothesline there. Carroll with that huge clothesline to Exodus, now just slaying, just slamming his head that's, into the mat. That really that, can't feel good. Th those dirty tactics of the dicks just smacking someone's head against the mat over and over again. Ooh, DT under Ryan Carroll. And now, now Paul, tag. what do you have against the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society? They're dicks. And Carroll with that toe kick before tagging oh. in Walsh. Walsh. Walsh gets back in this, gets back in the uh, ring with uh, the 
Oh, Nitro. Bam! Big DDT to the Nitro. And, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it looks and, like he's... oh, no, that's a dangerous place. Oh, oh my. In between can we the talk dicks. About how, can we talk about how that's, that is great tag team work right there? They know each other very well. They just... I, I thought Wait. Walsh was t was tossing Nitro into the corner, but Carol catches him, and uh, Walsh just goes with it and starts choking out Nitro. And, and into the corner, another quick tag maneuver from the Dicks. Looks like they're going for this big boot once boot. again. Ooh. That big boot from Ryan Carroll, and oh, flying forearm from Nitro trying to break up that... that, oh. that uh, And Nitro momentum, just, just... momentum. That's the word I'm looking for. Break up the momentum there from the dicks. You know what, Paul? I think you're you're slightly jealous of the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society because they they would never let you in. Yeah, because I don't want to be a dick. And Nitro catching Carol and hitting that dragon screw before and... just kicking him in the back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Big oh. bridge suplex there, Northern Light suplex almost. Yeah, Nitro get, Nitro going for that Northern Light suplex doesn't really go for the pin though, which, which I'm a little surprised about because when you're in a match with like something on the line like this, a chance to become the first ever VCW Tag Team Champion, you kind of Ooh, would go for a pin after everything, wouldn't there, you? Uh, Nitro. Oh, Carol going up top, what, what's he? Oh, oh my god! Flying headbutt to the back of his head, holy crap! And Carol showing some kind of athleticism there. Just oh, like, what in the world? Holy shit! What was that? I was. Well, I uh, thought he was going for a suplex, but he just drops it into a backbreaker. Could this be it? One. That only was gets an the one. a move by Ryan Carroll. And Nitro's trying I, that quick tag, and here comes the Exodus. Boom! Boom! Oh, I, I still can't believe what totally we just saw it. there. Oh, Ryan Carroll. Throwing the Exodus across the ring almost, and he's yeah, very similar to the uh, beginning of the match. He eats a big boot. Holy crap! This is a tag team tournament, apparently. Did you know this tag team tournament? I didn't know this tag team tournament. Thank you, Truck, for telling us that we're watching a frigging tag team. God. And Exodus hitting Walsh as Carol. Oh my God! Hitting that Ooh, KO elbow. Massive elbow there from Ryan. Ryan Carroll just totally leveling. One, two. And oh, Exus just kicks out at like two and a half. Ooh, Exus gets dropped from that again, though. Ryan Carroll, full of very just brutal moves. I'm not even sure what he was going for there. Maybe just trying to stretch his arm out or something. Alternate Nitro back in the match. Ooh, big neck breaker. Hitting that big neck breaker on Carroll as Carroll is back in with uh, Nitro. And ooh. oh. Hip toss there from Ryan Carroll. Oh, and an elbow, elbow drop. drop. There's one thing I can say about the Dicks is uh, they are definitely able to like take apart their opponents with quick tags and uh, big moves. Well, you know they don't call themselves the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society for nothing. They they are smart competitors. They're still Dicks. And and uh oh uh oh Walsh locking in this. This, uh, oh, Nitro just clutch. tapped out! And Nitro tapped out. You're moving on to the next round. It's the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society. That was a quick ending there. Yeah, not exactly Dashing, what I expected. intelligent, knowledgeable society there with that quick submission and then cutting off Exodus from his partner. I mean, Nitro was, was getting beat down pretty hard. I'm not surprised. But... The Dicks advance into the next round, and we're about to find out who they're going to face with their last qualifying match. Oh, was that, was that, was that last qualifying? That was the last qualifying match, but so up next we'll we have a up next we have a uh, we have a video package to just just uh, shed some light on the Goonie Vulture feud. Yes, we'll see that right now. We will cut to that. Stay tuned, folks. Of Ultimate Glory 3, 
Here comes your world heavyweight champion, the leader of the 420 Gooniverse, the Goonie! There's a little bit of talk within COH that I might not be the real champion. I, I don't know what this is about. Uh, you know, we had this match in the main event, Ultimate Glory. First person to make their opponent tap out is the world champion. That's what I did. My music hit. Goody, he's got it locked in! The Dragon Sleeper! He's got the short-term memory loss locked in! Chris is in trouble! Give it a big trouble, Kevin! Give it a data zone! Kevin Tops! Kevin Tops! And this one's over! Goody retains the COH World Heavyweight title here at Ultimate Glory 3! I grabbed my title. This is my championship, okay? I don't give a damn what anybody has to say. What the hell? Referee taking the title away from Goody! Wait a minute! Get a crisis! At the final requiem! And the crowd is booing! What the hell is going on here? Chris with the final requiem! And Goody taps! And this one's over! And a new champion crown! Look at and then we got the owner. We got Travis. Man, you and I, we've been fighting all this bullshit, all this dishonor for how long now? And now you want to try and tell me that I'm suspended if I don't give back the championship? If I don't give back my championship? You got the world title! And what the hell is Goody doing? And Goody! And Goody is a, just left through the crowd! And Goody, Goody took the world title and he left! You think you can afford to lose Goody right now? I don't think so. <laughs> trying to tell me I'm suspended. All I'm trying to do is defend my championship. Next battleground, main event. I want that main event. I want to defend this belt because I need some new competition. I need some new people to smoke out. But it doesn't seem like Yona wants to give that to me. So what the hell's a champ to do, huh? Where do I go from here? <laughs> You're not gonna let me in battleground? You're not gonna let me in COH? <laughs> it's whatever. Maybe I can go defend this in AWF, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, yes, it is time for our main event of the evening. And it is for the COH World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me correctly. The COH Championship, or as the Goonies is saying, the real COH Heavyweight Championship is to be defended, defended on an AWF event. And here comes the real champion of COH, the Goonies. Who knows? But if COH isn't gonna let me do it, y'all can kiss my ass, cause I'm the real champ, and I'm gonna take this belt to places it has never been before. Peace out, y'all. My name's the Vulture. I'm apparently VCW Heavyweight Champion. Last I checked, there's only one heavyweight champion, and that's ECW Heavyweight Champion. You call yourself the COH Championship. Let's say you and me go a couple rounds at the Tag Team Tournament. And we are back. Vulture versus Goody. RuPaul, one third of the Masters of Horror, the Vulture. Yes, um, Vulture, definitely a guy that I would never, ever want to see. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I've never ran into him backstage. Uh, I, I think I've been avoiding this guy for a reason. I think I've never avoided the Vulture. Vulture. People say that some people have like screws loose, and then he's got all the screws missing, and then maybe trying to duct tape it back together. This guy doesn't hurt. He doesn't even know he's full champion. He calls him a piece of metal. He handed him a piece of metal when he beat some dude up. And 
here comes the real COH champion, the four, the leader of the 420 universe, Gooniverse. the Goonie. Yes, here comes the. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to disagree with you, Paul. I'm gonna go with self-proclaimed COH champion. Self-proclaimed real COH champion. But real apparently but apparently in their books, Kevin Crisis is their COH champion winning at winning by submission at Ultimate Glory. But in yeah, the Goonies you know, mind, you know, Paul, it's not it didn't happen. We we can have a we can have a little debate about this because clearly you sport uh, Goonie as the true I, COH champion as Vulture hits the suplex. I I clearly agree that he isn't because in the end the bell rang after Kevin Crisis locked in the final requiem and Goonie tapped out. Kevin may have tapped out already... first, but to to dismiss him oh. as a COH champion would be like dismissing Big someone like Eddie Guerrero or Edge or anybody in their entire career who had won under dirty circumstances. But the bell had already... Oh! Big dropkick there. The bell had already gone and some reason the ref restarted the match and... The bell, the bell never rang, though. That's the thing. Goonie's music started playing. Someone backstage was messing with Goonie. But the bell never rang until Kevin Crisis locked in that final requiem. Okay. Anyway, off the ropes from the vulture. Oh, big hip toss. So, Paul, who's your pick to win this match? Uh, I'm going to say... The... Goonie has been on a winning spree throughout all of these, all of these feds. I think the vulture needs to shut him up a little bit and show him some respect of other coffins. So I'm gonna hope that the vulture wins. I'm I'm gonna again something might be in my water that I got during that little video package. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I want the vulture to win this. You know, Team VCW. Oh, one Big only gets the one. But these two are definitely evenly matched within uh, strength-wise. These two are basically the same size. Oh, big! Now, Paul, Paul, uh -oh. imagine this. Imagine if one of our one of our semifinal teams. Oh my God! Just Goonie knocking Paul out of the sky. And ooh, big ooh, sidekick. Big super kick, almost into the face of the vulture. And uh, Paul, imagine as I was saying. Imagine this. Imagine if one of our one of our semifinal teams was. Uh, was disposed of backstage, and then Goonie and Vulture had to fill that space. Could you imagine if Goonie and Vulture became VCW Tag Team Champions with one another? That'd be a weird thing to happen. I think if that happened, I think I may have to eat, eat my own hat, because that would be weird. You aren't the one wearing a hat, I am. I'll eat your hat. And Goonie with a big spinning back suplex. What an incredible matchup. Oh, Goonie just made Vulture eat his knee. Oh, yeah, it hurt. Goonie with that single uh, knee face buster, and now Vulture uh, returning with a big, big oh, neck Vulture breaker. goes over the top, and Vulture is probably going to get eat a Ooh, no. suplex over the top. And, ooh, eye rake from the Vulture. Another and a neck breaker. breaker right there. Now I just want to make one thing clear, um, Paul. Ooh, hip toss. As much as I I said that I I see Kevin Crisis as the true COH champion, that doesn't mean that I support him at all. You know, Kevin Crisis is kind of a dick from what I've seen in COH. He is a dick. He should be part of the dicks because he's such a dick. Don't think Kevin Crisis would uh would agree with that statement at all. But wait, what is Vulture doing? Oh, Vulture's gonna maybe choke him with that Rick. No. Nope. Just kind of going in a series of transitions. What is driving the knee across the chest? Almost, yeah, almost into the windpipe of the Goonie. It looks like he hit that drop kick, but it might have connected more with the arm because Goonie was shaking off that arm. And Vulture's setting up. Oh, big elbow to the Goonie's face. Ooh, oh, another looks one, like right. he's going for a chop, but Goonie caught Ooh, him and hits him with that Goonie big boot. Big boot from the Goonie there, yeah. And. Ooh, chop to the. Vulture over and over again, and oh, then and finish up with an elbow. elbow. Oh, overhead punch. 
Ooh, uppercut from the vulture. God. Just, these two are just absolutely just beating the shit out of each other. Yeah, there is no love lost between uh, these two men. Now, um, I, I'm getting this off. I was talking to Terry. Uh, he sent me a text. And he mentioned, I, I believe, on the Ooh. last um, COH fun facts or whatever they're doing over on the COH page, that um, apparently Travis Sparks, the owner of um, COH, convinced Scott to reopen VCW. So it's, it's almost like COH and VCW are almost intertwined with one another. You could say that for sure, and Vulture is going somewhere. Wait, where, where's Vulture's he going? going. Oh, I, I, God, get away from me! Get away from me, Vulture! Vulture! Vulture. Get away from me. Get away. We, uh, you just broke my TV, You needed bitch. all of that. Dude, did you really need to break my TV? Man, I paid for that shit. You have to pay for yours? You don't? Kevin won, man. Um, now, Vulture hitting that uh, elbow across the the chest of Goody. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they're not back out here anymore because... Oh, I don't that big boot, but Vulture I mean, caught him in a hip toss. Yeah. But as Ooh. I was saying, I'm, I'm glad they're not on the outside anymore because Terry's not here, so we have no one to replace the table that uh -oh. I know of. Goody, Goody's setting him up for something. Oh, Goody Bob! Oh, wow. I don't know. I, I think I think Goody might have been uh, throwing a nod to to a COH superstar known as Justin Bateman, and I believe that uh, might have been a twist Bateman of, bomb. Twist, twist of, of hate, hate, though. Twist of hate, right, right, right taking out the Goody with that twist of hate. Oh my God. Could this be it? Could could one, Goody be out? One, two, two. No, Goody kicked out of just that two and a half after that twist of hate from the vulture. Yeah, I thought Goody Ooh, might have had it the there. Corner. Oh my god. Ooh. What an amazing uh, sequence there. Tossing him into the corner with so much force that he bounces backwards into that spinning back suplex. And then. Oh. Ooh. Action is happening so fast that I can barely Focusing keep up. On that neck of the Goody. Yeah, uh, Vulture definitely focusing on the upper t upper half of Goonie's body. Folks, oh, as I said that, he goes for an ankle lock. Goonie um, working the entire... I mean, Goonie having his entire body worked over by the Vulture. Hey, he's not the world champion for nothing. He does know how to hurt people. That's a quote. He may not know he's the world heavyweight champion, but Vulture knows how to hurt people. Oh my god, what in the world was that? Draping his arm around his knee and dropping the knee. Some Ooh. kind of arm-breaking maneuver. I don't even know what to call that. Vulture. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Kicks to the face of the Goonie. That's oh. gotta hurt. And, oh, into the corner. And, and whoa, holy. Oh, I, I did not know the Vulture could fly like that. Uh, he is a vulture, maybe, but holy shit, that was an impact. Uh oh, 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 oh. S trying to set up for that uh, memory loss. Is that what it's called? His, me his, his memory uh, loss? His uh, Goonies Dragon Sleeper, known as the short term memory loss. Short term memory loss, that's what it's called. And Ooh, inverted. Atomic drop, and then Goonie just getting Ooh. slammed down by Vulture. Vulture is no slouch when it comes to strength. Just tossing the Goonie like he was nothing. And, and a Vulture. And another neck, neck breaker focusing on that neck area of Goonie because of his twist of hate and his hangman's drop focusing up there. And Vulture now tossing Goonie into the corner once again. Goonie pops out of it and wait, no. Ooh. Versus. And. Ooh, oh, big backdrop there from the Goonie. And now Oof. just a kick to the back. This Goody. is a... Oh, oh Goody short -term lost. the short-term memory loss. Short, will, will, will Vulture tap out? Will the Vulture tap out? I don't think he knows how to tap out. I think he just might pass out if he if anything. No, no I, I wonder what happened there. Maybe uh, Goony realized his grip wasn't all the way there and had to release it. And oh, 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 oh my oh. god. What Over in the, the world? What that was a modified neckbreaker, but... Vulture just cut him off with that toe kick, and uh-oh. Ooh, big elbow to the face of the Vulture. And once again, locking oh, in the short-term memory loss. He's locking in the lock short, short-term memory loss. Maybe he's got it locked in Very now. close to the ropes. Maybe maybe Vulture can drape can get his legs under the ropes. I, I, he's got that in. Oh. Wow. He keeps, I, think, I think he keeps slipping out. Vulture just slightly keeps getting out of that maneuver. He has to keep breaking the hold. Ooh. Oh, my. Goody's losing it. He, he's, Goody is he, going he mad. Oh, hitting clothesline. He's not making the vulture tap, and he's just the fury of clotheslines. 
and power slam from the Goonie to our champion. I think this might be it, folks. I think Goonie is gonna. Oh, oh big drop of the knee. Knee and the pulp under the vulture. One, One two, two, and Vulture oh. kicks out at two and a half. Uh oh. Oh, Vulture with the leg width. And Goonie just right back up. Cool. Hitting another modified neck breaker. Both these men, both their maneuvers work on the neck area, so it's very, very odd that they're both, not odd at all, they're both going for each other's faces. The punches, the neck breakers. Ooh, oh, inverted tummy drop on the crotch of the vulture. Now clubbing him across the back. Gets him in that side Ooh. headlock, hitting that rolling elbow. Oh, wait, Goonie's oh. going up top. No, wait, I thought he Ooh. was. Oh, Vulture just got out of the way. Trying that torpedo, but misses. But, wow. This, this has been my... one insane matchup. And, oh, Goonie gets a rope break there from the Vulture. Yeah, Goonie would look like he was trying to lock in some kind of... Ooh. Some kind of submission that focused on the arms or back, and Vulture was just too close to the ropes. Now Ooh. Goonie going for the one. pin. One. Oh, Vulture just got a one. Do you think him and Chave were chopped in the same place? Because his Goonie's hat stays on his head and Chave's bag stays on his head. I I mean I I assume that Chave's bag stays on his head due to some kind of redneck magic or something. If, Goonie, if I, 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 I think his I think his hat stays on for for sheer force of will given to him by his Gooniverse. Oh wait, and, a vulture oh, going oh, for twist of hate. Twist of hate from the vulture, dead center of the ring. Here we go. Could this be it? One, One two, two, three. three. And the Vulture picks up the victory over the Goonie. Finally teaching the Goonie some respect and showing the Goonie he's not the best there is. The Vulture definitely taking it to the Goonie in this match, but Goonie definitely had a good outing here in DCW. Yeah, without a doubt. Goonie has a... I mean, that was an incredible matchup nonetheless uh, for, both, for, for both men. I thought the Goonie had it at multiple spots. But there it is, the final twist of hate right in the center of the ring. Nowhere even close to the ropes. Vulture wins. And now, now just, that, that's saying unnecessary. Vulture is, just doesn't care if he's uh, he, he beat the shit out of someone and now he is ready for his next opponent. So, continuing on with our uh, tag team tournament, we're about to have uh, the semifinals with our first. Uh oh. Oh, wait, oh. Um, there's the Hogarth Dynasty. Whoa! Oh, oh, and the Trailer Park Corporation attacking him backstage. Oh, oh my god. Uh, are they going to be able to make it to the match? Are Goonie know. and Vulture going to have to tag team to take the Hogarth Dynasty's place and then go all the way and become new tag team champions? I, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. But it would be cool. It would. It would be cool, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I Probably think they, not. Hogar Dynasty. But, um, uh, definitely attack though backstage. If we. I, I wonder if Travis is gonna try and pin one of them and become the new not VCW hardcore champion. <laughs> not. Not VCW. And here come those jump from behind worthless pieces of shit. Yeah, uh, the Trailer Park Corporation. Making their way to the ring, but will their uh, will the Hogar Dynasty be able to make it to the ring? So th these guys are so scared of the Hogar Dynasty that they had to jump from behind. Oh, uh, I mean, Gutless. I I don't know if we can say it was fear, Paul, because I mean you you mentioned before, um, they were looking at. Uh, getting Connor, MDR was uh, getting Connor to join the Trailer Park Cor uh, Corporation. Could it have been all dealt by MDR? You know, telling them that if the if the Hogar Dynasty even made it close to the to the finals, to just take them out, to just attack them backstage, Whoa. send a message. What's going on? Wait, wait. Are, theme is Oh. That's, that's the Hogar Dynasty. They're, they're, oh my they're, god, they're making they're it. They're going to go for it. The they are troopers. The Hogar they're Dynasty good. not not looking too phased by the attack. I think they're definitely hiding their injuries. But they, they're definitely troopers. 
trying to keep making their way out here and wanting to face their uh, their attackers. Yeah, Hogar Dynasty not backing down. Again, I have to feel like like Jameson and Freeman, they're they're definitely trying to hide any of the injuries that they might have sustained from that attack because we you, you saw it that the, the trailer park corporation was just laying into the Hogar Dynasty. They were just just attacking them brutally. But here we go. And Ooh, Connor just getting Connor. revenge right at the start with that DDT on Levi Anders. Levi is just getting his face punched in. Um, I mean, I would ask you who you were picked to win this match, but I think the clear choice is the Trailer Park Corporation. They, uh, uh, I mean, they, 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 they weren't attacked, they were the attackees. But I, 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 I honestly think the Hogger Darcy might be able to get it just by sheer force of anger against the, the sheer force of anger will yes oh Levi Anders just taking it to frame in there oh my Slam god him down and, and now the, Levi the going to the outside no come oh. on guys we just fixed this god we, we just it. fixed it we had to do this ourselves come on you know how much time Paul spent on that I, I, you know how many times he spit on me telling me to go faster piece of shit this guy Just I said so I said sorry for that and oh pay off pay off start oh my god <laughs> no time Freeman wasted by Chaffee I think this could be it sorry oh Hogar Dynasty you won't be tag team champions one, one two, two and that's oh. wait what just kicked out or it was broken up there and oh Freeman's taking it to the to Chave. It to Chave. Him and his bag head. Oh, I keep on mentioning kick. his bagged head. Accept it, Paul. It's a thing. We can't stop it from being a thing. Oh, I. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna steal it from his head right now. I'm gonna run over that ring and try to pull up his head. Maybe. It's, I think. Maybe I think you made him angry because I think he was about to come and slap you. Whoa! Did you see the height that he just got over the top rope there? Jesus. I, I think I think the whole theory of Chavi being of uh, of Mexican descent might make a little bit more sense because we saw how high he that was that's like luchador height right there. It's like he's a, an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a conundrum. This man wrapped in a bag. paper bag. Wrapped in a paper bag. There you go. And one, two, three. I think I think that was what? it. I that think. Was was, I, I think the attack. attack beforehand was too much for the Hogar Dynasty. Trailer Park Corporation doing, as anyway. I said, going all the way. But, wow, that was... They made it very... They tried to make their way to this, into this match, but that attack was just too much for them. Yeah, it was without a doubt. Was, um, the gutlessness of the, of, uh, the Trailer Park Corporation... Definitely Again, I, I don't know if it was gutlessness. I, I think it might have just been MDR giving a message to Connor Jameson, this is what you get for for not doing the smart thing, not joining the Trail Park Corporation. Well, MDR can go suck it because he is a gutless piece of shit. Listen, you can say whatever you want about MDR, but I know it's because you are jealous of how much money he has. How much money he keeps in his platinum, solid, steel, gold, titanium, diamond, uh, butthole that you lick every trailer day. that he he probably lives in. But anyway, we, after all that, we still have our tag team tournaments and Chave going Chave and, and Levi, Levi Anders, Anders Trail Park Corporation makes it to the finals. But we have our final our our second semifinal match with a, whoa wait wait I, I, I called this. Exit is attacking Nitro backstage, and could we have a new tag team? Wait, no, c c go back to the backstage. I want to see if Exit is a hardcore champion. Hell? Oh, one, wait, one, two, 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 and three. And Exit is just talk out his own partner from being a new hardcore champion. And, okay, and the punks are making their way out to the ring. Um, they're facing the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society. Well, yes. but Paul, can we talk about what we, what we just saw? I was New hardcore champion crowned at this show. Wow, that's, that was not, not expected here, but the <laughs> now, Exodus took it out his own now, partner Paul, to be the hardcore champion. Paul, what if? What if we come back to the back 
and the Exodus moves an Exodus mask to reveal that he's truly Travis Cole. I, I would be really down to face off. Cole was Max. <laughs> But, but, but here's a big one. And Travis Cole isn't that big. Fair but enough. anyway, here come the punks. Fresh yes, off their uh, victory Mason early Mason today Mason Mason Punk. against the Hooligans. And they're facing the Dicks, who won again earlier today. Dashing, intelligent, punny, knowledgeable society. The Dicks. What is that? And. Right, Amazing Chunkin, Mason Brooks here, looking very confident. Yes, these guys looking very, very confident for this match. Um, it's like you said, they had an amazing showing against the Hooligans, but the, the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society had an amazing debut here in VCW against... Um, who were they facing? They faced... Oh, they faced the people that just got the shake and just broke up. They faced Exodus oh, yeah, and, and, Nitro, and uh, Exodus. Nitro. Apparently they were so upset, he was, Exodus was so upset that he lost that match and he had to go win another title. I mean, that's just the kind of insanity that comes in BCW. I guess so. I do, I, I, I have to give it to them. They have a cool, they have a cool theme song, but they it are is, still it dicks. It is catchy. And the match starts, um, Amazing and Punk Ryan, going up against Sean Walsh. Sean Walsh, sorry, yeah, Sean Walsh. Oh, just got leveled by Amazing Punk there. Now, Paul, I have a question for you. Do you think that one of these men are going to destroy our table again? Because cause while, we, while we saw the attack from Exodus, you were fixing the table once again. I was fixing the table again. I, I, I saw it on the monitor when I was putting it back in the damn thing. But... Oh, no, and this Amazing Punk takes take tags in Brooks. Amazing. Ooh. But and Sean Walsh just dodging Jackson. that punch. And oh, big elbow drop. So, oh, Mason just drops him with a big clothesline. Paul, I have one more question for you. Who's your pick in this match to uh, go face the Trailer Park Corporation? Punks are uh, dash intelligent, cutting knowledge I... society. This is a hard one. Both these teams are actually very knowledgeable oh. tag team. Oh, another Wait, submission Sean, from the Dicks. Oh my God. Sean Walsh locking oh. in. Sean, I, thought, I, thought I, I think that was. I had that there for a second. Sean Walsh locking in that, uh, that guillotine choke there. Yeah, very, very similar to uh, Kevin Cross's uh, final requiem. Never noticed Mason. that Kevin Cross and Kevin Crisis have the same same one of the same finishers, the final record. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's like they're the same people. And Mason with that release uh belly to back suplex. Oh, big knee to the face. Oh yeah, but uh Paul, who's your pick in this match? I I would say Personally I, oh, I think, oh, oh, oh my wow. god. Big oh DDT. my god. I'm gonna say the dicks might take this. They're absolutely on all, all over the punks in this match. Oh, someone's online. Offline. Yeah, someone's offline. That guy interrupting our show. Um, Bastard. Guys in the back clearly messing with our monitors. You know what, Paul? Just just to be just Ooh, to be that man. guy, I'm going to disagree with you. The punks are definitely making it all the way to the end of this match. Okay. And, oh, baby. Gee, oh, flipping uh, Sean Walsh over, but Sean Walsh... Oh, oh my god! Big spear from Sean Jesus Walsh! Jesus Christ, did you see that spear? One, two, and... Th that was like 2.9. Oh, that two was so point close nine. being three, yeah. 2.9. That was like 2.9 nine tenths. Uh oh, well, there comes that submission hold again. No, no, this is a different submission hold. Uh, no, Nitro right. tapped to the, to the Cobra Clutch. This dicks. is a sleeper hold. And Mason oh, Ruse oh. is tapping. And Mason Brooks has tapped it. Man, the dicks are definitely his tank. You can yeah. definitely... Dashing, Holy intelligent, crap. cunning, knowledge of society. Doing, doing like I predicted. Winning in this match. Making it to the finals against the Trailer Park Corporation. Shit. I'm going to punch you in your smart-ass face. I just said they were going to win, you piece of shit. Paul, how about, how about you just get ready to fix the table one more time, okay? You know what? I'm going to make you do it. I'm going to make your mom do it. Like it made her do me last night. You what? what? I didn't say anything. What? But anyway, See, I, the dicks. 
a dick. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up. <laughs> that intelligent, knowledgeable, cunning, cunning knowledgeable sight, excuse me. That that joke was so bad it's making me stupid. I'll make it to the next <laughs> round. But I mean, who who am I doing commentary here with? The Miz? Like, you're making your mom jokes really? Really? Oh, oh wait, the match is starting! What in the world? Start. Jesus, the time for a corporation are just aren't wasting any time. No time wasting. Wait, Whoa. but... Who the hell are these people? Wolfgang, Sonny, and Sonny, Mitch. Wolf, Wolfgang, Sonny, and somebody. And that, that's that's Mitch. He's on the VCW page. What is going on? I, this is this is insanity. I don't even know what to, what to call what's happening. Uh, what, what, what's going on? Why did... What happened uh, here? What... I, we, I mean, we have multiple... Multiple, um... Possibilities that... What? what? Wolfgang, Sonny, and Mitch are going for the tag team goal? They're they're not the Trailer Park Corporation. What, what just happened here? What what is going can someone explain to me what's going on? I I have no idea. I mean Do we not have any bloody this, rulers here? Come on! And no, this Wolfgang match is Sonny happening. And Mitch um, is just apparently facing the decks for the tag team championships. Yeah, Wolfgang, oh. Sonny, and Mitch are up against the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society of Sean Walsh and Ryan Carroll. But what in the world? I, I have these two are fresh, so they might be able to beat the dicks here. But yeah, without a doubt, Wolfgang, Sonny, and Mitch are the freshest men um, in this entire tournament because you know they, they kind of just anybody. attacked the Trailer Park Corporation, the clear winners of this tournament. And oh. Sean Walsh gets a big neck uh, jawbreaker there. Yeah, um, the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society, I guess, not caring and just going with it. Oh, you know, big confident, neck breaker. Confident in their own skill because right. why else would you let something like this go on? Why wouldn't you Why wouldn't you demand that you actually face the people you're supposed to face, especially oh, after they get attacked? Big knee to the face of uh, Sean Walsh there. Yeah, and, Wolfgang oh, Sonny, known oh for his God. power game. <laughs> Taking out many men with that uh, Detroit backbreaker. That is correct. Then, then, then I still, I'm still kind of shocked that this is happening. Oh, big oh. clothesline! I, I wonder if the if the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society just let this go because they're that that confident in their own skill. They're that cocky. Maybe I don't think that the Trailer Park Corporation is going to be very very pleased with this. Yeah, I mean if but, if. If Wolfgang, Sonny, and Mitch win, you would have to believe that the Trailer Park Corporation would be the first first, first picks. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, oh, oh! Big tag team maneuver there from the Dicks. Hitting, hitting that backbreaker elbow drop combination on Wolfgang, Sonny. Ooh, Wolfgang, Sonny is a STO maneuver man. there from Wolfgang, Sonny. And uh oh. Oh. Ryan Carroll. Wait, no way. Ooh, look at the strength of <laughs> Ryan Carroll there. Now, Paul, did you see that? Ryan Carroll using using I uh, had to have used some kind of momentum trick right there to pick up a guy like Wolfgang Sonny and slam That's him down. Hundred percent true. Oh, throwing Wolfgang Sonny's face into the mat. Wolfgang Sonny here is definitely one of the most powerful men here in BCW. One of the only men to ever face Lucifer and actually not come be out, killed. Yeah, n come out um not for the worse, but um. Series of strikes from Ryan Carroll to Wolfgang Sonny. Wolfgang Sonny on the ground. Oh, and, Wolfgang Sonny oh. avoided that clothesline there. And then hits him with that shoulder tackle, knocking down Ryan Ooh, Carroll. Big headbutt. <laughs> Wolfgang Sonny, whose head is so big that it also collided with Mitch because you saw him drape on the ropes <laughs> right there. Ryan Carroll going for the pin, though. And I feel like Wolfgang Sonny's going to go and like, attack me backstage now. Yeah, probably. Wolfgang and Sonny, one of my favorite VCW superstars. Covered, it's totally fine now. Ryan Carroll on the inside. And... And they lock oh, up. They lock up, and Ryan Carroll gets the better of it. Oh my... Okay. No way, no oh way. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, and he goes into the pin. Ryan Carroll's taking steroids. Has to be. Ryan Carroll with inhuman strength picking up <laughs> Wolfgang Sonny. And now, what's he going oh for? My, are you kidding me? No. Oh my god, no way. With what? a bridge. What? Belly to back suplex oh with a bridge god. going for the pin. Ryan Carroll is probably the strongest human being I've ever seen in my life. I mean, 
I could expect something like this from like Amazing Punk. I can expect something like this from Wolfgang Sunny. Ooh. But but Ryan, Ryan Carroll Carroll just picked up that huge I mean, massive human being and I mean Ryan Carroll isn't it. we're not we're not calling Ryan Carroll small. Ryan Carroll is a big man. We're just saying Wolfgang Sunny is a Sonny huge is a, man. A huge, huge man just taking it he just beat the shit out of him now because he doesn't he can't even comprehend what happened to him. Oh Ooh. combination backbreaker, neckbreaker. And Ryan, and Ryan Carroll on the outside. Whoa! What in the world was that? I don't know, but he missed it, whatever it was. Some kind of corkscrewing splash there. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, there's the power from Wolfgang Sunny. And, ooh, Just big power what? slam from Wolfgang Sunny. Holding him up. Ryan Carroll. Holding him up for like a few seconds and then just draping him across the shoulder and power slamming him. What an incredible show of strength from Wolfgang Sunny. And, ooh, Ryan Carroll. Fury punches in the Wolfgang Sunny. I mean, what else Has are Mitch you going to do to Wolfgang Sunny? Like, Wolfgang Sunny is taking both these guys on. Yeah, Mitch, though, going to break up this submission, the uh, Dashing Intelligent Cunning Nodule Siding, known for their submissions now, because they they just beat two teams with uh, two different Why, submissions. Submission? Yes, you're right. I was going to say that earlier. These two are submission experts, for sure. And, and Ryan Carroll just... just just pulling Wolfgang's body across the knee, going for a, a um, submission. Ryan Carroll gets caught by Wolfgang Sonny in a... Just, ooh, the Chicago oh, ooh, backbreaker. That's, yes, that's, that is Wolfgang's move. I think that might be it. Could, could, could this Ryan team Carroll be the uh, tag team champions? One, two, and oh, Ryan Carroll just kicked out. Ooh, big slug to the center of his body. Oh, Ryan Carroll gets thrown into the corner. Finally tags in his partner, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch being tagged in, uh, going against the ropes, and Ooh. double elbows right there. And now could be going for Sean Walsh, just just kind of staring at him creepily. And Mitch grabs uh, Ryan Carroll from behind, and ooh, Ryan Carroll throws him into the corner. Oh, big splash from Ryan Carroll. This, this match has been insane. It's a it, impromptu absolute brawl. Ooh. Oh, back body drop there from Ryan Carroll to Mitch, and now tagging in Sean Walsh. Sean Walsh immediately getting punched in the face. Yeah, Mitch and, not waiting for anything, going against uh -oh. the ropes, and now Ooh. hitting that running drop kick. I don't know what's going on, folks. This is definitely one of the best matches we've had here tonight. I and mean, it's definitely the most surprising. I would not one. have expected. Wolfgang, Sonny, and Mitch to make it Ooh. to the finals after attacking the Trailer Park Corporation. I wouldn't have because they weren't on the card at yeah, all. Exactly, I, I wasn't aware of this. I oh, punch in the face. I still can't get over this. I mean, this is this is supposed to be the Trailer Park Corporation, and Oof. and Sean Walsh just slamming Mitch's head into the mat. I I'm surprised. oh, big punch in the face again. Yeah, dropping the uh, forearm across the neck and chest area. And Sean Walsh now going Ooh. for the jawbreaker. Shades of Ryan Murphy. Yes, for sure. Ryan Murphy. Uh, maybe they were trying. The Dicks have been probably watching this whole match and all, this whole tournament, picking up stuff from every tag team. But. Yeah, picking up various strategies. Oh, <laughs> Mitch going for that, for that uh, flying shoulder, shoulder tackle. tackle. This is completely. Gets, and. Ryan Carroll almost just, oh no, excuse me, Sean Walsh just pushes him out of the way. Mitch with the kick. Ooh, there. Big and Sean spear. Walsh with that spear. That brutal definitely spear. A, take, oh, definitely a uh, staple in his repertoire, that giant spear. Yeah, without a doubt. And, and now Mitch with the advantage, Ooh. just laying into the legs of Sean Walsh. Again, go kicking the inner thigh. And oh, big neck breaker from Mitch. Oh, rake right to the eyes. Walsh with the rake right to the eyes. Mitch with a series of strikes, but gets caught by Walsh. And Walsh now oh, <laughs> gets slammed into the mat. And Walsh tags in Ryan Carroll, one of the strongest human beings we've ever seen in our lives. Yeah, Ryan Carroll with the impressive shows of strength every time we see him. Oh, big punch to the face, back fist to the face of uh, Mitch there. And where is he going to send Mitch against the, the ropes. ropes? Hip toss. Big, big toss there by Carroll to Mitch. And Mitch, Ooh. though, taking out the leg. 
Looks like he was going for like a back elbow to the um, almost Ooh. kidney area. Backdrop onto Ryan Carroll there, and Mitch setting up for something. Ooh, Another baseball slide to the face. This has been one in hell of a match. I mean, these two teams are going head to head, and the Dicks aren't even flat full strength because they've had already had two matches tonight. Yeah, I mean, the Dicks going into, th regardless of who they were going to face right now, we're going into this um, right after beating um, the Punks. I mean, I can't, I can't believe that they're doing so well. That they're, they're incredible with the dash, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable society. I may Just, not like them, but they're definitely impressive. Uh oh, Ryan Carroll! Look what? at the power of Ryan Carroll! Oh my! Oh, oh my! What in the? What the hell? Holy crap! I don't know what the, I'm going to find out what that move is called, but that was an impressive move. Ryan Carroll, I think, I think for now I'm going to have to just call that move Project Carroll because he had him up and he dropped him down across the knees and once again destroying, destroying our the table. damn tables. What? Ryan Carroll, you are a piece of shit. I hate you. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my god! Gee. Mitch just threw Sean Walsh into our table. And then Carroll just tossing Mitch over the ropes. Could no, no, guys, oh, guys, no, no, let's. No, no, Get let's, away from my let's let's not break the table. Let's just, yeah, let's, let's my not table, let's bro. let's uh -oh. not slam anybody into the table. Uh -oh. Just just don't don't get too harsh here, guys. We we we, we, we like our table. And uh, oh, Mitch just ate that steal. Yeah, ate that turnbuck. I mean, yeah, ate, ate the post. And and now in, into the barricade, Mitch reverses though, getting out of any uh, bad predicament there, going to the inside. Don't want to crown tag team champions out of a count out. That would be kind of lame. That would be very. Oh, oh, oh wait! Oh, that was, oh my that was going to be a neck breaker, but it was an absolute elbow shot. One, two. Oh, Only that was two. That was quick the tag team two. maneuver there, taking out Wolfgang Sunny in that huge elbow. Mitch with the elbow now. Yeah, but Ooh, Ryan Carroll, Carroll just Ryan Carroll. Ooh, impressive showing from Ryan Carroll. Very spec breakers and elbows. I mean, I don't know where this guy is going to come from next. Ooh, ooh, and now face that buster there, that very interesting version of the face buster. Mitch neck with breaker. a uh, running neck breaker right there. Oh, and Sean gets Walsh caught by him. Walsh. And ooh, now a chop across the chest, chest from Carroll. Oh, Mitch drops him with that. Oh, neckbreaker. I was going to say jawbreaker, but now it's jawbreaker, neckbreaker combination. Oh, Brian Carroll rakes him in the eye. Mitch hitting that shoulder tackle, though. And it looks like he's going for a camel clutch. Oh, camel clutch for both partners quickly into the ring. But uh, Carroll was just closer. Wolfgang Sunny oh, going what? up top. I don't even know what he was trying there. Oh, Mitch drop kicked him from behind there. Wolfgang Sunny tried to do something, but it was too, he missed completely, whatever it was. And they're up. Uh, and, ooh! Ryan Carroll with that Russian, Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep there, yeah. Like, wow. This is an impressive match. This is a high impact, high paced match between this the two teams. This has been one brutal match, that's for sure. And, and Mitch goes for the pin. One. One. And oh, only Sean gets Walsh the one. breaks it up quick. Oh. Fury of punches from both dicks. And, and Mitch tossing oh, Carroll into the ropes. Into the, uh oh, going up high. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Oh, Here's some no. sort of maneuver. No. Oh, oh my God! Stunner from the top rope. Oof. Oh, Ryan Carroll. God, that has to be. Oh, big splash from Mitch there. If that Trying has to, to be it. Mitch has to go for the pin. This is it. This is it, folks. We have new crown, new tag team champions. One. One. Oh, but Sean Walsh breaks it up. Walsh making the quick save. I mean, Jesus Christ. Carol has to be hurt right now. Carol needs to. Carol probably tagged Sean Walsh, and that he does. Yeah, there we go. That's, see, that that is tag team. That is, a, that is true tag team ability there, knowing when to tag and not just to fight. Oh, big elbow. Yeah, a series Mitch of elbows there. from Mitch, and then hitting him with that clothesline. This is an intense match, folks. This is one of the best matches I've ever seen. One. One. Oh, even though it may be impromptu, and Mitch and Wolfgang Sunny are kind of cheating to be here, but it's 
definitely impressive match here for our fans in the VCW arena. Oh, yeah, big elbow drop. Doubt. I mean, I I wonder what we would have got from the Trailer Park Corporation, but uh, oh. I'm, I'm almost happy with this uh, mid oh, oh, Wolfgang oh. Sonny. Oh, oh, oh. oh my oh. god. Trying to break that elbow and shoulder Mitch there. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It was like he's trying to dislocate Mitch's arm oh. or something. Look at that tag team choking out again. Mitch. Choke. That, that, that very impressive tag team uh, synergy between these two men is almost uncomparable to anyone. Yeah, the dashing, intelligent, cunning, knowledgeable side is incredible. Oh, God. Ooh! Dropping uh, Sean Walsh that big neck breaker. And Mitch picking up Walsh and hits that um, arm drag. Goes for the one, pin. One, two, two. Oh, kick to the two. Just the two. Oh, wait, what is Mitch going Ooh, oh, oh! Totally impaling Sean Walsh into the ground. This could and be it. Kill one, goes one, off the ropes. two. Oh, two oh my god, I thought that was, was it. Two point two and a half and three quarters. That was very close. Now um both members of the dashing tug and cunning Ooh, Walsh side inside. Carol goes on to the outside as Walsh One. goes to the pin. Wolfgang Sonny oh, looks Wolfgang like he was worried the there. Ooh, big DDT from Sean Walsh. This is this match is just incredible, folks. I, I I want to see what what both teams can do next. I, I just want to see who wins this match. The tag team. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh! So you're gonna oh the submission God. from Ryan. Oh, just Ryan. Ryan Sean, Carroll. Sean Walsh locking yes. in that um. That locking in that leg lock. Oh, what is this? Oh my God! Oh, oh! oh impressive tag team maneuver from. The dicks there. Yeah, double face buster from the dashing yeah, intelligent cunning not society. Phasing Mitch very much. Going over the top rope. And Sean missing Sean Walsh completely. Sean Walsh could be a little bit dazed right now. Doesn't know where he is. Walsh looks like he got grazed on that one. And oh, now going oh, for some kind this, of another submission. Look at these incredible submissions from the dicks. Sean Walsh, um, he looked like he was going for some kind of arm lock. Oh, where's that patented spear from from Walsh? Uh, Sean Walsh there. And, and before, I mean, Walsh was going to some kind of modified arm-locked camel clutch. I mean, it was really interesting holds that uh, Walsh keeps on busting out of almost nowhere. And tagging back in Wolfgang Sonny. And, oh, Ryan Carroll punching and, and laying waste to Wolfgang Sonny here. Oh! Yeah, just serious. Taking the big man off his from. feet. And tagging and, in his partner here. Looks like they're going for the quick tags, trying to uh, lay into lay into Wolfgang Sonny as they try and keep each other fresh. Well, when it comes to Wolfgang Sonny, you gotta stay fresh because this man's huge. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh once again, locked that, in that, this, this locked guilty in that choke. submission. Oh my and god! Mitch breaking it up. And uh oh, uh oh, and oh, and, and that's that, that's how they beat the um. Oh 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 man! Never mind. Excuse me. This match is going by too fast. To try to try to get, end it there, but Mitch broke it up too quick. Ooh, big neck breaker from Sean Walsh there. And ooh, for that elbow drop. Ooh, big shoulder tackle. Wolfgang Sonny just powering Walsh down, and now tagging in Mitch. Mitch going after Walsh with a huge spear takedown, almost shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle, and now going through the sky ooh, and not Sean getting Walsh any of that. Sean Walsh avoided and then hit him with a drop kick. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, oh. big shin kick to the face. Yeah, going off the ropes and hitting that springboard shin kick. And I uh, don't like, know what, what is, he's. Hey, Walsh is I, doing something I weird there. I think he's trying to uh, loosen up or something. You know, I, that was a very <laughs> um, interesting time to do that. Ryan Carroll with the drop kick after getting tagged in, and now uh -oh. going what off the it? ropes. Ooh, oh, uppercut, cheap uppercut there. Yeah, getting uh, kicking him down and. Hitting him up. This match is. I can't believe how how incredible this match is. Wolfgang Sonny trying to trying to get a. Uh oh, and oh. Carol going for the tag on Walsh. On Walsh and boom, almost no. got no. Didn't didn't land this it. This is and Sonny though. Walsh. 
Sean Wolf gets caught in Sean the Sean Wolf gets that again, and immediately Wolf gets oh, taps out. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Could wow, not we stand have new tag team champions here, folks. The Dicks. Just, just wow. an incredible matchup. This, well, well, we have new tag team champions and the dashing, whatever the hell they are, they're called the Dicks. The dashing, and intelligent, cunning, knowledge of society. Sean Walsh, Ryan Carroll, the first ever VCW Tag Team Champions. Wow, that, that, that match will go down in history as... I, I can't wow. believe what well, we saw. What an incredible matchup. Um, Wolfgang, Sonny, Mitch, Fresh, attacking Trailer Park Corporation, to everyone's surprise, going down to the ring, starting the match, and Ryan Carroll and Sean Walsh still end up winning. Wow. Well, we'll see you next time on VC and VCW. Livewire or Overdrive. Yeah, definitely Til stay next tuned, time, folks. Guys. For for Paul Play by Play and and Kevin Kevin Wonderman and all of VCW, thank you for watching collaboration.